Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. If you're brand new, my name is Madison and I'm so happy you're here. If you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. And before I get started with the Dollar Tree haul, I wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the love and support and, thought and thoughts and prayers that you guys sent me when I was getting my wisdom tooth out two weeks ago today on Tuesday. So I did get my wisdom tooth out, like I said, two weeks ago and it went pretty well. Um, I was in a lot of pain for like a full week almost, um, but I'm way better now. My mouth is completely healed. Every, everything healed perfectly. There's nothing to worry about. So I'm super exi excited and grateful for that. But it, I was, it did put me down for a little while because it was a lot of pain. But needless to say, that is done. I went to visit my friend Kira 50, from Fifty Shades of Mom over the weekend, and I actually had to end up leaving early on Saturday night instead of Monday because they were projected to get some snow and ice, and I didn't want to get stuck there because tomorrow, as you're seeing this, tomorrow is Wednesday, um, I am graduating from college. So I didn't want to risk not being able to make that, which it was really sad to leave, but that's okay. I knew that it was the best thing to do because I did not want to miss my graduation because I do have family and friends coming in to stay with me and go to my graduation and my graduate graduation party at the end of the week. So I have all that and then next week is my birthday. On the 20th, Thursday is my birthday. So and then right after that is Christmas. So so many things are going on but I just wanted to thank you guys for your continued support and all the love that you guys showed me when I mentioned in my last Dollar Tree haul that I was getting that procedure done. So thank you guys so much and now let's get into the haul. Okay, I always love going to a new store in a different state or a different town because there's just so many more things that my store doesn't have. A lot of you guys tell me all the time that my store is so awesome. You never get the things that I get. And my store is good. All the all three of them that are around me are pretty good and I'm lucky for that. But whenever I go to another store, I just get so excited to see what that store has that my store doesn't. And Kira's stores in South Carolina and North Carolina are no different because they have bread. Like my store has bread too, but my store has like the Dollar Tree knockoff. I don't know what brand it is, um, but this store has nature's own bread. Sometimes they have the Sara Lee bread. They have sometimes the other one. Last time I was there, I got like the artisan bread. They have so many good bread selection. Like it's crazy. So this time I just picked up the Nature's Own Butter Bread. We love this bread, you guys. Like, love it. So to get it for a dollar when it's normally way more than a dollar is pretty good. Again, the expiration date is December 19th, which is next Wednesday. So, and I got this, like, maybe three days ago. So definitely a good day on this bread. So I don't really know why it's in the Dollar Tree, but I'm not complaining because this is a great deal for a dollar. And speaking of that, they also have Tasty Cakes at her store. So I see a lot of people hauling the Tasty Cakes. And my store has like the like the smaller one that has like five of these donuts in it. But this is a 10-ounce bag. And it is, I don't know, it's regular $2.99. Expires on the 21st of January. So again, these will be way gone by then. But super amazing food finds at her store for sure. My store never has this stuff. Okay, some non-food finds first, and then we'll go back to food. I got some new frames. So I've seen some of these hauled. I don't think I've seen this one hauled, though. Um, but this is just a regular 4x6 frame that has a little clip on it. But the back is just like a black and white stripe. And my mom at her desk at work, she has kind of like a black and white theme going on. So I'm going to print out a picture of me, her, and my sister and put it in this frame and give it to her for Christmas. I feel like that is such a sweet gift. So I got that for her. And then I got these two. So these are the ones that have like the words up here on the front and then you put the picture down here. So this one says, our family is blessed and it's a dark brown frame. Sorry about the glare, but it's a dark brown flame frame. So I got this and then I got this one that's a white frame and it says, the greatest gift is family. So at Thanksgiving time, I took a picture or we took a picture with all of my family, um, it's like cousins, aunts, uncles, everything. It was so amazing for us all to get together. And we took a picture. So I'm going to print out two of them. Put one in here and one in here. I'm going to gift one of them to my dad and keep the other one for myself. I just think these frames are seriously perfect and so high quality for a dollar. Okay, and then I went a little crazy with the car fresheners. Like, whoa. Um, I don't normally have good luck with the Dollar Tree car fresheners. But for some reason, I keep picking them up. Like the Armor All, Armor All ones, the essential oil ones. Those are terrible, like the oil's not even leaving the little thing. So I don't even know if mine's working, but um, I wanted to try some of these. And this one is the um, Refresh Your Car Very Cherry. And it just looks like that. It's just the little like teardrop looking one and you just stick it in your vent like that. So I got the cherry one. 
These are the Vent Sticks, which I've gotten these in like a lemon scent, I believe, before, and they were pretty good. And this one's the Perfect Peach. So I got those, and it just comes with four different sticks that say refresh on them, and you just stick one in your vent, and it works pretty well. Like I said, I had pretty good luck with this last time. Um, then they have the dual ones out again. There was three or four that came out like maybe a couple months ago, um, but this one says it's new. You can see up there it's, it says new. And this is again the refresh brand, but it says layered fragrance mini diffusers. So you put one on one side of the car and one on the other, and they're supposed to mix together. Um, one smells like Summer Lovin' and one smells like Rainbow Kiss. So I'm not really sure what that smells like, but it seems like it will smell pretty good. And like I said, I like to have two of them, so it kind of gets the whole car. So, um, so all those are good, but this one, you guys, I can't even. So before I left for Kira's house, I bought one of these at my store. Um, and I went ahead and stuck it in my car because I was like, I want it to smell good, like why I'm going to Kira's house. And seriously, for the entire three and a half hour drive, this was all I could smell. Like, it didn't matter what was going on. I could smell this. It is amazing. And when I got to Kira's house, I saw that they had at her, they had this at her Dollar Tree. So I picked up two more because it is so amazing. This is one of the best throwing air car fresheners I've seen in a long time. So this one has two different sides. One is fresh strawberry and one is cool lemonade. So what I like about this one is you can turn the little dial right here to all strawberry, all lemonade, or you can keep it in the middle and it does both. So I have mine on the middle and it's amazing, but I liked the fact that you could, you know, change it up if you wanted to, but I feel like for a dollar you really can't be an air freshener, especially one that works really well. Okay, so I also got cookie butter wasted, I guess you could say. So this is a new thing that they have out at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's actually in a glass jar. It's pretty small. If you can see the size of my hand, it is a 7 ounce jar. Um, but if you guys have watched any of my Trader Joe's haul, they have cookie butter cookies normally at Trader Joe's. And those are my all time favorite things of life. Like amazing like anything in the world if you just give me cookie butter cookies I'll be so happy like they are so good and no Trader Joe's anywhere have had them because there's something about they're redoing it there was a problem with one so they had to I don't know something in manufacturing they had to put a hold on them and wait I guess for all of them to get off the shelves and then make more and I don't know if they're waiting for it because I'm so in love with those cookies and I've been to Trader Joe's three times and they haven't had them so I'm really bummed but when I saw that they had cookie butter at the Dollar Tree, I was like all about that life. Because they have regular cookie butter at Trader Joe's, but the cookie butter cookies are just so amazing. Anyways, all that to say, this is just the Italione cookie butter. This is in the creamy. This is just, like I said, a 7 ounce jar of just plain cookie butter. Then they have one that is hazelnut, chocolate, and vanilla duo. So you can see it's just like a vanilla and a chocolate, like a Nutella type deal. The same brand, same size. And then they have this one that is Nutella and cookie butter. Like, shut up. Wow, so amazing. Like, again, it's swirled at the bottom. So they had three different ones, and I was so excited to find these because Kira had a fantastic idea of making your own cookie butter cookies. Like, whoa, two sugar cookies, this cookie butter, or this cookie butter. So delicious. Okay, this is another repeat buy for me, but it is one of my favorite things food-wise that I've ever bought from the Dollar Tree, and that's saying a lot. This is the Mor Morrison's Texas Style Honey Sweet Cornbread Mix. If you like a, if you like a sweet cornbread, you will absolutely love this. I made this. Um, we made chili when I had my surgery. I had I was probably the only thing I ate was like soup stuff. But I made this for Matt to have since he didn't you know want to eat soup all the time. I made this for him to have along with it, and he was like, "This is the best cornbread ever. Like, where did you get it? Where did you make it? And how can you make more?" So it is amazing. Definitely try it if you like a sweet cornbread. It's actually not that sweet and you put the sugar in it. So you can put however much or little sugar that you want. I put half of what they what they suggested just because I don't like a sweet, sweet cornbread. But I think next time I'll put just a little bit more. But it is so amazing. So I got that. And then I was with Kira and so she got these. And so I got them with her. These are the Zaps Voodoo Chips. These are delicious. She, I think she says it crossed between a salt and vinegar and a barbecue chip. I think they taste kind of pickly. So I guess maybe the vinegar comes in with the pickly. I don't know. But I love them. They are so, so delicious. And my store doesn't carry them. So I don't know what that's about. But her store did. So I definitely capitalized on that. And then I got some popcorn. This is a pretty big bag of the popcorn Indiana popcorn. This is the Himalayan pink salt. 
and it's 4.4 ounces and it's pretty full you can see like it's right there is where it starts and it's pretty big like look compared to my head it is so big i actually got two of them one is like i said the himalayan pink salt and this one is just sea salt so i got both of these at my store here at home and then i was like i was looking up to see how much they go for in the stores and i found the black and white drizzled one um, for like a little over two dollars, I believe and I was like these got to be close to that, right? But then at Kira store I found the black and white drizzled. So if you guys know I'm seriously obsessed with the um, Boom chicka pop popcorn the peppermint one and the hot chocolate one and all of them um, So I'm assuming this is gonna be some kind of similar because it's just popcorn drizzled in chocolate and white chocolate But this is again the popcorn Indiana um, brand it does expire on the 31st of December so it has a pretty quick turnaround time but seriously put these out at Christmas and they're gonna be gone like they are so good actually I say that but I've never tried this brand before but <laughs> definitely for a dollar you can't beat it so I wanted to try it and I love any sort of drizzled popcorn okay going away from food again I got two of these now I tried really hard to see online what the price was um, and I couldn't find anything if I found something since I post this video I'll put it right here but this is the Creme de Skin Nutrition's paraben-free um, skin product. I don't really know how to explain it. There's two different ones. One says Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum Flawless Younger Perfect Skin. So it says a carefully formulated blend of ingredients to address the most common concerns of aging and support the skin's natural exfoliation process. So I thought that was pretty good. And you, if you open it up, it's like a little dropper. So it's just this right here and then it just has the little dropper and you just take the serum and put it on at night I'm assuming by what it says. Uh, it was sealed but you can see it's just like a little dropper like that. So I figured it was more than a dollar in stores or online or wherever you buy it so I picked that one up at home. But then when I was at Kira's store I saw that they had the same brand but it's the hyaluronic acid I don't really know how you say that but I know that this is in my all-time favorite moisturizer which is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost one this is in there so this for a dollar compared to the Neutrogena one that's like $19 I'll definitely take this I'm really excited to see if it works I've been having some really bad dry spots right here and right here so I'm excited to see if this works as good as the Neutrogena one and again, it's the same thing with the dropper. It says apply AM and PM after cleansing um, several products to your face and your neck. So I'm super excited to try both of these. And I figured for a dollar, you really can't beat it. Okay, this is the last food thing. And then I have a two more things, I believe. This is the Biscolata Orange Cookies. I know last year they had these out. They also had the lemon ones out. And I never found the lemon ones. So hopefully I find them this year. Because I think they're coated in white chocolate, which I am all about. But this just says orange filled cookies topped with dark chocolate. So it has like a really soft cookie right there. And then there's like an orange gel. And then that's a dark chocolate kind of coating. So on the top it's hard and on the bottom it's soft. So I'm all about these cookies. They're so, so good. So that's the last food thing I got. And then I got two of these books right here. So these were up at the front kind of in the impulse section. And if you watched a couple hauls ago, I hauled like a book full of all different sorts of these. And I told you I was going to give them to my stepmom as a gift with a nice set of pins. So I'm going to include these in there because this is like a pocket one. It has this thing right here so you can snap it closed so the pages don't get bent. This one is just a crossword. So it has all the answers in the back and all the different crosswords here. And then this one is a Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku. I don't really know how to say it, but she loves this game. So there's, again, the answers in the back and then all of these to do. So she's forever playing that game on her phone where the, all these puzzles are there. I don't know what it's called, but she's forever playing that. So I figured to hook her up with these so that she can play them and not have to have her phone would be an awesome Christmas present. And this is the last thing that I got. These came out last year, but this is the Pillsbury Fresh Blueberry Pie candle. So it's just a three ounce candle right here. And I can't really remember what people said about this candle. I'm hoping that it's good because I love a blueberry scent. They also had an apple cinnamon and a chocolate chip cookie one. And I tried the chocolate chip cookie one last year and I don't remember liking it. So I didn't pick that one up. I did get the blueberry pie. It smells really good like it would have a decent throw. So I'm super excited to burn this and I hope it's good. 
But okay, guys, that's everything I have for this week's Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another haul. And again, thank you guys so much for all your support and love that I received on my last haul of when I told you guys about the procedure that I was getting done. Thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.